I keep making these uh, decorative uh, pillowcases for my clients, uh, real pillow shams, and they don't use them. No one has picked up on this idea. So I wanted to see if in this greater audience, someone would understand. I make uh, really pretty covers. This matches the bed throw. And I make them very easy to slip pillowcases into. And I want to show how fast this goes. It really doesn't take any time at all to hide those pillows. And people normally have them stacked behind their pretty pillows, which is, uh, I don't know, it makes this really gappy thing behind. And uh, I just don't like it. So I keep making these lovely pillows. Uh, behind me, I have a bed pillow in the plain tote now. I'm trying to say how quickly it goes and my zipper is stuck. <laughs> This center back pillow is uh, silk velvet with one of my bed pillows in it. I sleep with three feather pillows. The one and two. Now, there are no white uh, actual bed pillows showing when my bed is made. Everything is tucked away and it really doesn't take that long. And it takes half the time to unpack them at night, of course, and it does to pack them in in the morning. And that's people's excuse. Oh, it's too much work. I don't want to do it. Oh, my husband doesn't like it when there's so much fuss. But really, is that so much fuss? For the results you get, no white pillows pushing the decorative pillows forward. Now, I like doing a tassel pillow. Um, I make silk pillows with feather down filling and put a nice big tassel. Now that's great, but it needs a little contrast. And that is this other animal pattern. So that's all it takes to hide those white bed pillows and uh, have a stack of decorative pretty pillows so that your bedroom is, especially when you're in these small apartments like mine, um, that it's easily viewed and it's all dressed up. Speaking of dressed up, this is the at-home version of the uh, neutral outfit I'm going to be recording next. Please do get pillow shams and put your white sleeping pillows inside of them. I don't want to see those. Thank you.